happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Ready Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Mauzua portable MP3 player with FM radio, Bluetooth, voice recording, and text reader. I picked this up on Amazon for about 25 bucks. Normal retail is about 35, but they have those special coupons once in a while, so it's good to keep your eye out for one. I was looking for an MP3 player to replace my aging Sony. This one here, the battery is not lasting anymore. This is what I used for Radio Totterbert. So I wanted to find something to replace it. And there's a ton of these out there on Amazon. Uh, so you'll be looking through there and like, man, which one do you get? Well, this one stood out just because of the simple design. And I thought I'd give it a shot. And I'm glad I did. This thing's pretty good. So let's get started. Show you what's inside the box here. Open this up. Well, the box is pretty simple. Audio play. Nothing special about this box. This is interesting. PC requirement. Windows XP. Are basically using XP? <laughs> I actually have a computer with XP on still. Some icons. Okay, go play. Let's go play. All right, let's see which side of the box. Let's get this open. All right. Let's see what we get inside the box. Okay. So first thing we get is free. Six months extended warranty. Register for 18 months total. I guess that's pretty good. There's our website. Scan it. Do it. And then they got, uh, if you're unhappy, because I want to make you happy. <laughs> Love it. All right, guys. Good deal. Here's the little player. I'll put that aside. They get a bunch of stuff here. There's a little foam that was holding the radio in. On the bottom here, we have a bunch of cables. Okay, so instruction manual. Look at that. Let's see, cables. We have a bunch of stuff here. Okay, empty box. We have a micro USB to charge the battery and also to interface the device to the computer so you can add all your files, MP3, text files, and picture files. So there you are. Here we have a patch cable so you can play uh, your MP3 player into an external speaker source. And here they gave us a pair of headphones with a little foam ends. Pretty nice. All right. Let's go to the instruction manual. This is a pretty basic one. I will try to go over everything because this isn't very easy to read. So we'll just kind of cover the basics. Uh, there's Bluetooth. Here are some specs right there. Material zinc alloy. I thought it was like an aluminum, but it's really nicely constructed. You'll get to see that in a moment. Uh, compatible audio format. You can see it, it plays all those files. Uh, you can pause and read the different types. If you guys are wondering... Um, it will play those files, which is good. Video format, compatible ebook format, text files only. But what I noticed here is working time, 25 hours. Uh, pretty good. I, I would say that's about right. Um, compatible operating system above Windows 98. I hope so. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I'm using uh, Windows 7 still because I like Windows 7. And it plug and play. I didn't have to do any drivers or anything. Bluetooth connection. Talk about repeat, AB repeat. There's a lot of functions on this, and I hope to cover them all, because there's quite a bit. So we'll go ahead and try to find, and this is just a little bit of stuff here. I think the back is blank. Okay. So yeah, we'll try to cover most of that in the manual. Let's get to the player. Lower this down. It's a little tiny guy. I like that. Not too huge, but not too small. All right, we got a nice little plastic thing here. I left the front plastic protector on there. So here it is. We'll go over dimensions. Um, the device is one and a half inches wide, three and a quarter inches tall, and a depth of three eighths of an inch. For size comparison, I can bring out the Sony. The Sony's, I think, a little thicker, if I remember right. Yeah, just a tad thicker and a tad wider, but definitely shorter. Okay, that gives an idea. It looks like the screen size is a little bit bigger on the Sony. All right. Uh, let's see, Iron Man, give you an idea how big this guy is. Oh, that noise was my Bluetooth radio. So we're going to show you with the Bluetooth function of this. Give you an idea, there you are. All right, cool. So let's go over features of this player. 
Uh, a lot of cool features. Uh, right on the side here, there's a button. This is your power button and also your lock function. So when you've got everything set up and you're rocking and rolling, you can hit this button so you don't hit the touchpad and change your song. Here we have a micro SD card slot, which supports up to 32 gigabytes on a micro SD. So you can add to the existing memory, which is 16 gigabytes, which it says right here on the back. So internal memory is 16 gigabytes right off the bat. You don't need to add a card yet, which is nice. 16 gigs is all I'm going to need. I think this was like a four. This is like a four gig player. It doesn't say on it, but I think this is only four. So yeah, I've got a quite, quite a big upgrade from that one. So yeah, on the front here, you'll see it's got a uh, spot for a lanyard. This is solid metal, by the way, the whole housing. It has a very substantial feel to it. Um, it feels like you're holding something premium, definitely. Uh, you got your uh, color screen there. We got some touch buttons. Um, it's kind of touch sensitive. You have a back, a configure menu button, up, down, left, right, selecting, and then your enter key in the middle. And those light up too, and we'll show you that in a moment. Right hand side, we got basic volume controls, which I like. Bottom of the radio, we have the charging port to charge the internal battery and to add your files. And there's your uh, headphone jack. Okay, on the back here, you'll see that stickers to 16 gigabytes. Proud of that. They got some writing there. Input, five volts, pretty basic. FCC, this is all like laser engraved. And then right here, I thought this was venting. I wasn't sure what this was. It's actually a speaker. So this is awesome. We're actually going to demo this little radio here uh, with the little speaker. It's, it's going to be fun. It's just, I was shocked to see that. I'm like, because I was just, I was playing this with my headphones, with an FM, and there was no speaker option on, when you play with the radio. But when I was doing MP3, all of a sudden started playing out of here. So I thought that was pretty neat. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this on. So you just press and hold the button here on the left. Welcome. Okay, a little record player. Um, this thing's neat. So I mentioned that this has FM radio, it has MP3 playback, of course, Bluetooth, and it has the uh, voice recording, text reader, and it also records FM radio, which I thought was really cool. So I was just actually playing a little clips of FM radio here. So I'm going to go ahead and back up and show you the main menu. Okay, so we have a clock, which is great. So you have a clock and calendar. When this thing goes into uh, screensaver mode, it'll actually show the calendar and the date uh, time together. Here we have an apl application tab. We have an all songs tab. We have an artist tab, albums, playlists. Playlists is neat, really easy to use. And the Bluetooth function. And then folder view, which I use quite often. That's my favorite. And of course, application. Under application, I'll show you what's there. You have video mode. I don't have any videos to play on here, so I left them off. There's pictures, so I can click on pictures. Let's see if this works. There you go. You can see some pictures I took. So yeah, it's I mean it's pretty rudimentary, pretty basic, but I thought I'd throw them on there. So that's a little picture mode. Uh, you have this cool uh, recording mode. So here you can do your voice recording. It has a little microphone built in. Recording library, you can go right to your recordings and play them. Record format, you can change that format to different file types, MP3, WAV, and ACT. And then, uh, you know, you just select which one you want. Back out of there. Record settings, so you can change the bit rate. Here's the bit rate here. 32, 64, 128, and 192. Glad to see that. Quite a bit of options. Uh, voice, I believe, activation there. So it prompts you just start talking and starts recording. And then here is set recording scene. So it has a, a sensitivity on the microphone, normal, train, meeting, long range, and disable noise canceling. So it records everything as clear as it can with noise included. So I have meeting scene. It's pretty basic. Um, I w it's pretty much like a you hold it in, in about like a, a foot away from you and, and talk and dictate your whatever you're recording to it. So it's pretty simple. Recorder. Uh, let's see what else we got. So I showed you the picture mode. We have ebook mode, which is pretty cool. We'll get to playing this thing, don't worry. I put on Moby Dick here so that you can actually, if you're stuck and you want to read a book, the thing about this is if you have the MP3, you can actually be listening to music and reading the book at the same time, which is really nice. But here you can page through and it shows you how many pages there is. There's 7,000 pages on these little tiny screen, but it's readable. Uh, and you can change the different back screen types. Um, 
there's let's see background right there you can just scroll there background color you can delete the book you can bookmark delete bookmark add bookmark so quite a few options there's options under everything you do so i like the black and white for the text on the text reader uh here we got that i told you recordings uh settings so let's go see what settings we have uh play mode go into play mode we got repeat shuffle uh, we have sound settings go an equalizer so in there we have rock funk hip-hop jazz classical and then if you go down here electronic and then we have custom and there is a five band eq there for custom changing the sound which is nice having on normal right now i think are off volume limit you can have a limiter on the volume so you don't blow your drums out that's a good thing sleep timer idle shutdown button lights if you look there are button lights here you guys can see that but those little guys light up which is nice speaker switch i believe that's when you plug in headphones unplug the headphones if the little speaker will come on while you're playing your mp3s display settings hit that you yeah, change the brightness backlight timer screen saver screen savers for the time and date showing up there's your date and time you can change those pretty simply you got alarm uh, it said it has 28 languages yeah it's pretty amazing information of the device format the device whoops we don't want to do that <laughs> that would be interesting okay format factory resetting and create playlist okay so we'll get out of this let's uh show you the fm radio here's the fm radio and it tunes pretty basic you just down goes up and up goes down kind of strange that way but that's how it is and then there's seek function and there's like an auto search function too so let me go ahead and i'll plug that in and we'll showcase that real quick i'm going to use a uh just a simple external speaker here my uh faithful gpx this guy right here we're just going to plug it into this radio you guys have probably seen that before turn that on Okay, I thought it was the radio. It's actually the MP3 player. So let's see if we can tune a station that's clear. There we go. We have some foreign speaking one. There's our volume. It isn't smooth. So the cool thing is, if I want to record this, hit the setting button, start FM recording. So now it's recording this. Pretty cool. Okay, we'll exit that. Save recording, yes. Let's uh, seek to the next station. Sometimes I was to a meeting this week to, a wire to learn about some of the new things that are going to be happening in a, in a few weeks for all of our major clubs. It's truly profound. So you'll notice there's a little bit of artifacts when the display is going. But when you turn the display off and I were in lock mode, um, that little interference goes away and it sounds really good. So let's talk about FM uh, reception report. It got 52 stations, so FM sensitivity is okay to good, and FM selectivity is okay to good. So it's an average FM player, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, my local stations, the stereo comes in really nice. It's the headphone I forgot to mention to you. Headphone jack sounds amazing. Uh, FM stereo, mid-range is good. Uh, low end is not too low, which is good, and the highs are nice. So overall, good listening experience with headphones, which is really important when that's all you have, or your Bluetooth. <laughs> So you can control your volume while the screen is locked. There's your screensaver. Date and time. So on FM, you can save to preset, clear preset, auto tune, tuner region. FM recording shows what we recorded. That little noise you heard is 
the machine making the little digital artifacts. Now when you have headphones on, it doesn't do that. Seek up. Not sure it's going to find a whole lot downstairs here. Okay, so you get an idea how that works. All right. So let's go ahead and show you the MP3 function and Bluetooth functions. So we will go to Bluetooth. Let's see here, Bluetooth. All right, I gotta turn on my radio with the Bluetooth. Using a Grundig field. And we're gonna go Bluetooth mode here. Unplug this. Okay, so it's gonna want you to turn it on. Bluetooth off. Bluetooth open. Now it's going to tell you it's open. So then you go to search for devices. There's the field. Select that. Connect. See the Bluetooth icon coming up. Field. Select it. Okay. So now it looks like we're connected. It's got a green color to it now. So we'll exit. And then we'll go play some music. Under folder, I have YouTube music, books, pictures, gun smoke. You'll get to see those. Fast forward through the track. Skip. Okay, so you get an idea there. So let's go ahead and show you a cool mode. Let's um, see if I can turn the Bluetooth off. I don't know how to do that here. Go to our Bluetooth menu. And Bluetooth switch. Switch it off. There we go. And now it'll use a speaker internally. So let's show you how that sounds. Let's go ahead and play. So now I'm using the internal speaker.
Good one, buddy. <laughs> So you can, uh, like I showed you, uh, or told you, showed you. I'm going to show you something cool. Her books. You can read our book. Read this fast. <laughs> but you can have your music playing. Of course you'd have headphones on, which sounds fantastic. The stereo is just phenomenal. That gives you an idea of what you can do with the device. I have a uh, old time radio. Oops. Around Dark City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Of course, you can fast forward through here. Come with you. You better get up. Come on. Come on. Pretty cool. I could have different folders and Where are we going, enjoying that. Would you like to visit my ranch? Pause it. There we go. Okay, let's back up here. Yeah, so I think I showed you most, most all the functions. It's, it's pretty simple, but it has quite a lot of things you can do. Um, the neat thing was uh, the recorder. I want to go back to that and just show you that really neat uh, recording setup. So I think it's under apps. There we go, apps. And then we go to recorder. And uh, let's see, we have recordings uh, here. Recording library. And you can hear that little clip I recorded off the FM radio. Pozdrawiamy wszystkich pielgrzymów. Mm. 15191 osób już, już się modliło rano. Aplikację, czy modliło się modliło z wykorzystaniem się. aplikacji? Modliło się z wykorzystaniem aplikacji albo za pośrednictwem tej strony. I garantizados! Filo mechanico se ha confiado por los últimos 50 años en O'Reilly Auto Parts. Tu también, pariente! I recuerda, sigue adelante con O'Reilly. El playlist lo pusiste tu. Ahora visita premiolonuestro.com para votar por tus favoritos. En premiolonuestro. It was a great job, FM recording. So if you guys are into recording your FM radio, you can do it right from the device. Uh, really handy, really awesome. And of course, plug and play. You just plug in your USB cable to the computer, download the files, upload whatever you want, structured however you'd like with the folders. It's really easy, real simple. I think I showed you everything about this. Like I said, it has 25-hour 25, 25 runtime. I'm just going to show you a little sheet here that I brought out. Bring this up. So on the... I'm going to give you a link to this uh, device because there's so many of these on eBay. I mean, not eBay, Amazon. There was a ton of them, and I didn't know which one to get. Uh, this one just kind of stood out being very simple design is why I went with it. Squared off. I kind of like that style. And uh, there's a lot of different ones, but they all have a similar thing where Bluetooth, they have they have 16 gigabytes, you know, and you can typically get these for 35 or less. Like I got mine in a coupon, and it was down to like 25 bucks at the time. So it's always good to look out for good prices on them. So let me just go ahead and show you this. Uh, sheet here. Uh, that's pretty much just want to go over in case I missed anything. Uh, MP3 player with the Bluetooth function. It does uh, 16 gigs lo lo lossless sound. If I can say that right. There are the different files. I think I showed you that. Uh, it has a TF, uh, the ex external uh, SD card slot for 32 gigs. I mentioned that. There's the FM radio and of course you can record your favorite FM uh, broadcast which I think is really cool. You got the audio cable here, uh, whole metal zinc alloy shell, mini size body, and then of course they give you that 18 month uh, guarantee, which is pretty cool. So I'll show it to you. So let's do final thoughts on the Mazua MP3 player. And like I said, I'll put a link below because they have no model number to this one. And there's so many of these out there. And if you really like this particular one, I mean this this is just great. Listen to that thing; it's like solid. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good little setup. This will be doing Radio Totterbird for sure. Let's get that back up. Uh, so, yeah, so this one here uh, for the price for 25 bucks. Yeah, I mean, I've had some cheapies in the back of the day, like those Sansa ones. I don't know if you guys remember those plastic ones. They just fall apart or junk. 
this is great money, money well spent. I like dedicated devices. I know phones can do a lot of work and that you're wondering why you'd get this versus you're using your phone. Uh, I just like having this dedicated. I don't want to have my phone hooked up to my FM transmitter. I'd rather have this hooked up to it, doing its duty, doing its thing, you know, doing its uh, YouTube music programming. Or if I want to like run a six hour classical music marathon, let's do it from this. And I still use my phone for other things. So yeah, I like, I like this setup. This is really nice. Um, again, simple, compact, goes in the pocket real easy. Uh, it's like a, it's like the size of a lighter or something. It's just, it's really nice size. All of it. Um, it definitely gets a buy from me. So if you enjoyed this video presentation of the Mazua MP3 with FM radio, Bluetooth voice recording, text reader, and FM recorder, that thing's pretty cool. I like that from recording. That's probably a big feature I, I'm going to use a lot because uh, this, this does not have FM recording. Um, that'd be cool if it did. Now, my old creative, uh, Zen Nano, that I reviewed on this channel, if you, if you search Creative Zen Nano, Todd Herbert, you'll see that. That one has FM recording, which is, was a lot of fun. I enjoyed recording off the FM band. So, But this one doesn't have that, so kind of a bummer, even though this says FM radio. So there we go. Mazua. Um, if you enjoy the these type of radios or MP3 players, I might do a couple more. depends. Uh, they're pretty affordable. Uh, hit the... Uh, subscribe button, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos of MP3 players with FM radio. It's got to have a radio in it. I'm not going to buy an MP3 player and review it on my channel if it doesn't have any kind of like AM or FM or shortwave. <laughs> That'd be cool, shortwave. Um, if it has some, it has, to have some kind of receiver capability, um, definitely to make it interesting. Uh, that's just how my channel is. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. And of course, comment below what you think about this particular player. Would it be something you know, auto-turned off? would be something that you would uh, pick up. I really like the idea of the external speaker too. Really shocked by that. That's nice. If you forgot your headphones, your headphones weren't working, you could still listen to what's going on. Good thing. Alrighty. Well, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next episode. Take care and goodbye.